I'll never have enough money. I'm too stupid to understand how to manage my money. What if I make a financial mistake that I can't undo? Any of these things sound familiar? These are financially anxious thoughts, and these types of thoughts are what is cluttering up your mind and getting in the way of you having an amazing and empowered relationship with money. I'm Lindsay, I'm one of 50 financial therapists in the country, and in today's video, I'm going to help you stop those anxious money thoughts so you can clear up space in your head to fill it up with anything besides worrying about money, because worrying about money sucks. All right, let's go. So first of all, anxious thoughts are normal, but the problem with these types of thoughts is that they're usually not just a thought, meaning they're usually attached to some sort of action or some sort of inaction, right? So if I think that I will never be good with money, I'm probably behaving in a way that actually creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. So if I think I'm never good at money, I'll never be able to save money, and that's my anxious thought, then I'm probably not saving any money and I'm probably spending it all because I've already decided that there's no way for me to save because I'm not good with money. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use simple, plain old logic to fight back against these anxious thoughts. Yep, logic. Pretty simple stuff here. All we're gonna do is challenge those thoughts kindly <laughs> by saying things like, how true is this? What proof do I have that this is real? And what are the odds of something like this happening? And asking yourself those questions by taking the emotion out of it and setting that emotion aside can actually help quiet down some of those financially anxious thoughts. So let me use an example to illuminate exactly what I mean. Let's say your money worry sounds like I'm too stupid to understand how a Roth IRA works, right? So you've decided you're too stupid, you feel dumb, that's making you feel anxious, and so instead of learning more about what a Roth IRA is, you've decided you'll never understand it, so you just put it out of your mind and don't do it. Not. Great, so let's take a look at that thought with real logic and see what proof do you have that you're too dumb to understand what a Roth IRA is. You might say something like, I've made money mistakes in the past. I maxed out a credit card once and it took me forever to pay off. See, I'm not good with money. And I would go, okay, so that's like one little thing in that proves that you're bad with money or that you're too stupid to understand money. But let's look at it a little bit deeper. What proof do you have, what logic do you have that you're too dumb to understand a Roth IRA? So then we would think about what are things that actually show that you're not that dumb? Oh, well, I have a college degree. Oh, I got promoted three times in the course of five years at work. Those types of things help to illuminate that in fact, you're not as dumb as you are, as these anxious thoughts are telling you that you are. By looking at that logic and going, yeah, I did make one mistake financially, and I have proof that I'm actually a pretty smart person, then we can put that anxiety aside, put that emotion aside, and just look back at that thought and go, actually, it's not really that true that I'm too stupid to understand how a Roth IRA works. And once we take the logic and the facts and kind of shake it out from that emotional part, then we can actually do something, right? So then we can go, okay, cool. I know I can learn about what a Roth IRA is, even if I start to feel anxious or overwhelmed, instead of saying, I'm never gonna learn about it, you can say, I'm gonna take a quick break, I'm gonna pause, I'll come look at the info tomorrow, and you can move forward with your life. So I'm curious how you are going to use that. How can you use logic and facts when those financially anxious thoughts start creeping up? Let me know in the comments below. If you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes. And if you're watching me on Instagram, make sure to follow for new IGTV episodes. If you liked this exercise about how to stop those financially anxious thoughts, you're definitely going to want to grab a copy of my book, The Financial Anxiety Solution, where I go through nine chapters all about how to quiet financial anxiety and the 10th one is about money because it's called the financial anxiety solution. The information for everything is either in the description box if you're on YouTube or in the link in my bio if you're on Instagram. See you in the next video.